As uh, we approach the time when the world begins to celebrate the coming of the Lord Jesus, I often think of this little verse when the Lord Jesus spoke to some who offered to follow him and he warned them and said in Matthew chapter 8 and verse 20, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And then a little later over in Matthew's Gospel, in chapter 25, the Lord Jesus speaks of a day coming when he will say to people, I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. And they'll say, well, when did we do that? And he'll say, well, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. And uh, this little story I want to tell you occurs at Christmas time many years ago. My father had to go into the hospital and ended up in a shared room with another man. And uh, this particular man, a really unusual story, he and his wife many years ago were traveling through our city and ended up in a head-on collision. Their, their home was somewhere over on the west coast. And here they were. She ended up in intensive care for a long time. She couldn't be moved. And he ended up having to sell his house and move to our town and basically spent his days caring for his wife. And eventually when she died, he knew absolutely no one in the town. <laughs> he had no connections with our town except that they had this head-on collision and his wife had died there and she was buried in our town. So here he was, an older gentleman, having no associations, no friends, and he also ended up in the hospital right beside my father. And uh, he was so astounded that the Christians who came to visit my father would also include him. And especially a young man who had grown up in our Sunday school, didn't have a strong Christian family at all, but he came to visit, had walked quite a long distance to come to the hospital to see my father, and when he talked with them, he found out that they were so weary of the hospital food, and so he snuck out and got them each a hamburger and brought them in and gave them each a hamburger and then got down on his knees between the two beds and took their hands and prayed and committed them to God. This man was so deeply moved, he had never heard his name mentioned in prayer to God before. Both my father and he were released just before Christmas. And although our holidays are very family oriented because both my father and I spent our years giving ourselves to the care of others and when the holidays came, we liked to get with family, but my father just felt constrained he needed to invite this man home. And I often thought of this little verse that when we do this sort of thing, the Lord takes it very personally. He himself was a stranger in his own land. There was no room for them in the inn. And the Lord Jesus said, I spent my life sleeping on the hillside and eventually hanging on the tree. He had nowhere to lay his head but down on his own breast as he committed himself to God. And so Jesus takes very seriously any kindnesses we show to the homeless or to the stranger or to the widow or to those who don't have people around them that can show them love. So as this holiday season approaches, maybe the Lord will give you a little opportunity to uh, show some kindness. Instead of waiting for a homeless person to ask you for a little money, why not ask them to have lunch with you and ask them about their story and where they came from and, and, and share a little of your story and maybe a little of Christ's story to them who also knew what it was like to be homeless so that the Lord might someday when he meets with us say, I was a stranger and you took me in. <laughs>